You're a special guy, man. Thank I mean, you. To give back like you're giving back. Not many people do it, let alone young people. Right. Is there something driving you? Is this something is you're going to continue to do? I am. I'm going to continue to do it. Um, but the first, you know, the first two years, I want to just focus on football um, and build my foundation in, in, on the game. And then, you know, whenever that time comes, I want to give back with Habitat and also uh, Nigu, Jesse Reese Foundation, uh, Kids with Cancer. Bobby Bowden Award. I mean, that, that, that's a significant award. That was a good time. I mean, that's, that's for all around being a great student. You know, uh, that, that stands for a lot, that award. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, I go back to the Heisman. When you beat Ohio State like you beat them as a starting quarterback, then you beat Notre Dame uh, in the rain. And Notre Dame was a heck of a team two years oh, yeah. ago. You beat Oklahoma. They were good. Uh, great team. You beat Oklahoma, Notre Dame. You beat Florida State in Tallahassee in a two-minute drill. i just curious. Does it tick you off? How can you not win the Heisman with this body of work? Even Alabama, you got them too. I, I, what do you got to do to win it, Heisman? I'm not sure. Uh, lose, I guess lose a couple games <laughs> and then win it. But, uh, you know, I just kind of keep it in the back of my mind, um, you know, like Coach Sweeney said, man, they, I didn't miss out on the Heisman. I guess they missed out on me. One of the things that really uh, excites me about you is your experience as a football player and as a person. Right. It's like you're all in everything you do. Yep. Academics, I'm going to get my degree in three years. I'm going to take 18 hours. I'm going to I'm gonna put all my chips in there, man. Yes, sir. That's what I feel like when I watch you. I'm, I'm all in. Have to. Uh, is, is that Gainesville? That's, that's in you, isn't it? It's yes, never going to leave you? No, it's never going to leave me. It's, it's, it's in me, you know, starting as a little kid. You know, I had to be all in, and, and everything I did, I had to... You know, I have to earn. You know, my mom, she's a single parent with four kids. And so she had to work two jobs and seeing her work and be a hustler and grind, you know, for the things that we had as a young kid. And then, um, you know, she was diagnosed with tongue cancer at age 15. So I really had to take responsibility. You ever think during this game, when it was 14 nothing, things were going bad, that you could bring Clemson back twice late against Alabama to win it? I mean, was there ever a doubt? No, no doubt. Because uh, the night before, actually, before our team meeting, Coach Sweeney gave me a little a pen. It said, no doubt. It said, no doubt. It had big, like, there's no doubt. And he, he gave it to me. He was like, hey, you're the best player in the country. Leave no doubt tomorrow night. Your upbringing was tough. Right. Um, you got hurt as a freshman. You had to go through, you had to go through a lot to get here. I mean, what, what, what about this kid, Watson? What? what, what He's a fighter. He's a warrior. Never quits. Mm -hmm. And he, he's going to do whatever it takes to reach his dreams and his goals. And it's something I always wanted to do. That's why I was so emotional. Um, because it is just dreaming as a little kid, you know, to this moment, just thinking about, uh, about all the times that I went through, all the bad things, and coming from the neighborhood, I, I was the chosen one. And it was just a blessing to have the opportunity and, and finally get there. 